here's how to create a screencast in Ubuntu. First of all, we need to enable uh, remote access on our Ubuntu box. And we do that by going across to System, and then down to Preferences, and then to Remote Desktop. There we need to make sure two options are enabled under Sharing. We need to allow all other users to view your desktop, and allow other users to control your desktop. Um, we don't want to enable any security at this time, uh, because we just want access to go straight in, but if you were concerned you would enable that or set a password. The other thing we need to know about our Ubuntu box is what its IP address is. And we do that by going to a terminal prompt and typing in ifconfig. And there we can see our IP address of this machine, 192.168.0.20. Now with that information we go over to our Windows XP box and on this we need two programs. We need Cam Studio and Real VNC. Now Real VNC or any VNC client you can get from realvnc.com and then Cam Studio you get from camstudio.org. This is a free streaming video uh, application which is going to allow us to capture a s uh, section of the screen so first of all we start that program just move it out of the way a bit and we need to make sure that we are going to set a region which we'll specify in a minute and we run VNC and we've already got our IP address of our Ubuntu box in there we click OK to connect now just move that out of the way a second now we go down to Cam Studio. We click on the red record button and it's going to give us a little crosshair. Now we're going to set the area of the screen that we want to capture. In this case we're going to make it 800 by uh, sorry, 640 by 480 pixels. That's the resolution I've set my Ubuntu box so we get a nice big screen. We'll just adjust it slightly so it captures the exact area and now we are capturing our Ubuntu box through VNC we have complete access to it and we've just opened up Firefox we can go to our Kent Linux user homepage and from here we could demonstrate anything we wanted on any version of Linux or op any other operating system that you can enable remote desktop or VNC on because anything that's shown through this VNC uh, client is being captured by Cam Studio. So you would be able to create a screencast to help new users um, either install, set up, configure, use applications, do anything that is uh, easier to demonstrate through sharing rather than creating just a, a plain text and screenshot how to. So we'll just whiz through the operating system, just create a, uh, a small demonstration. And here's where I set the screen resolution down in System Preferences. Just set it to the lowest that it can uh, display, just so that it's a, a nice big screen and everything can be seen clearly. Uh, that's the end of that quick demonstration. So we go over to Cam Studio, we click the blue stop button, and it's going to prompt us to save the file. It's going to save it as a standard AVI file. We'll quickly save it on the desktop and we'll call it Ubuntu Demo. Okay, now that's saved on the desktop. We don't need our VNC session anymore, so we'll close that. And Cam Studio brings up its own player and we just quickly play the file just to make sure that it has recorded correctly and recorded what we wanted okay we'll close the Cam Studio player and the Cam Studio and you see we've just got our AVI file on the desktop now you can edit that AVI file in any video editing program but for simplicity I'm going to use Windows Movie Maker we just load that up, click File import into collections select our file and Windows Movie Maker will quickly import it and 
Now from here we can select the file and bring it down to the timeline. And then we can edit out any of the the bits that we don't want to be shown, any of the mistakes or setting up of uh, our, our demonstration. We can add narration, we could add uh, titles, music, whatever we wanted. But now we're going to export it. We click File, Save Movie. We'll call this Final Ubuntu Demo. Just change some of the movie settings. Click Next and just wait for that to save it as a Windows Media Video file. And I know Windows Media Video is not probably the best file format to be sharing files with other Linux users, but as these screencasts are mainly targeted to encourage Windows users to use Linux, this uh, isn't too bad of an option and there are ways to watch the Windows Media file uh, Media Video Windows Media Video file in Linux. So while that's encoding, we can just go to YouTube and we can uh, start creating our account there so that we can share it to other users. Now it would be nice to be able to create these screencasts solely in Linux and not have to use Windows XP uh, and Windows applications to do it, but I haven't had any success uh, with using Linux screen capturing programs like Istanbul even though it is great that people are trying to create them um, I don't think they are as refined as the Windows um, applications at this time so instead of spending hours and hours trying to get uh, screen capturing working in Linux I would rather spend that time using a few Windows XP tools and the operating system to actually create Linux screencasts so this is how I do it I know there are some other people that use exactly the same way as well and I hope the Linux purists will appreciate what we are trying to do by creating these screencasts to help new Linux users, which I am myself. Thank you very much for listening.